Hello, Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with one of our early highlights of Watches and Wonders, the Hermes H08. I always find Hermes one of the dark horses of watchmaking. Honestly, they're not a brand I think about all that often outside of Birkins and Leather, which is a travesty, really. Each year they bring out something that knocks it out of the park, be that the immensely cool Slim Hermes, or their technically magnificent orbiting moon phase. Now, it's the turn of the H08. It's not all that hard to tell where the H08 places itself in the wider watch world. The cushion-shaped titanium case is pure sports luxe in shades of grey, black and raw brushed metal. It has that industrial twang we've come to associate with the Genta esque but this being Hermes, it's not all as simple as you might expect. There are four pieces in the new H08 collection, all of which we have here. Two of those are on straps, a black leather number with blue or anthracite webbing, and an orange piece with black rubber. The one that hammers home the Sports Lux vibe the most is the version on an integrated bracelet, of course, which alternates brushed titanium links with polished connecting pieces. It's a seriously great entry into the canon, though thanks to the titanium feels a touch lighter than I'd like. I always prefer a bit of heft in my watches, especially if they have a pretense to sportiness. While all the watches, bar the integrated bracelet, have black sides to the cases, the final watch takes that dark monochromatic look one step further, and is my least favourite for it. I'm sure there are plenty of collectors out there that will adore the stealth look of the all black version, and it has pretty phenomenal specs. The case is an ultralight graphene filled composite, the bezel is satin brushed ceramic, and the strap is black rubber. It's a serious piece, but visually I find it loses some of the nuance the other three have, which run the full gamut of greys. The grey on black also means the quirky numerals, something that Hermes is best at in the business, fade out. At least it has the same orange tip second hand, and the black at least helps the minuscule date at 4 o'clock become a lot easier to see. On the wrist, the 39mm case is just perfect. It wears slightly larger, being a cushion with relatively long integrated lugs, but it doesn't look it. Evidently, Hermes has learned a lot with the slimmed Hermes too, as the H08 is also incredibly streamlined, more so than any other watch trying to tap into the same industrial good looks. It's also comfortable on any of the strap options, though I do keep going back to that orange. Finally, it has 100 meters water resistance, making it a solid everyday watch. That all said, the case doesn't feel quite as well made as I feel like it should from Hermes. It's a great, quirky, comfortable summer watch, but whether it's the lightweight of the titanium or something harder to put my finger on, it just doesn't ooze luxury. There are also a couple of practical elements that let it down. The crown is too small and harder to use than it should be. At the same time, the clasp is too clunky. Still, the H08 is cool enough that I'd forgive it these and more. Inside each is a manufacturer Hermes movement, the H1837, with a 50 hour power reserve. You can see it for yourself through the exhibition case back on the collection, but honestly the view's not the most spectacular ever. It's fine, but just not the sort of thing you excitedly take your watch off to bore your friends with. Now I'm sure when you first saw the H08 you instantly started comparing it in your head to the very similar, and slightly earlier, effort of Bell & Ross. Even the name's kinda similar. I have to say though, while Hermes lose a few points for originality, not really usual for them, I'd opt for one of these over the BR05. It's slimmer, a good deal more elegant, and it just feels like there's more going on. I still love the BR05 and it's certainly more affordable than the H08, but if money were no object, well I'd buy a Nautilus. The H08 would be a distant second though. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest watch news and reviews, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us cover next.